for part C, we can we th it then says using this value of k, find the solution to the simultaneous equations. So we know that if we get to this stage and go on to solve this equation for x, now that we know what k is, that will get us the x values for the simultaneous equations. So we can plug the 16th into here. We don't need to go right back to the start. So x squared plus 8 over 16x plus 1 over 16 is equal to 0. If we times both sides by, or times everything by 16 now, that will get rid of these fractions. So 16x squared plus 8x plus 1 is equal to 0. Remember, we're only expecting one solution. We were told that there are equal roots, so there's only one solution. So when we factorise this, then it needs to be the same bracket twice. If it's going to be the same bracket twice to make 16x squared, we're going to need 4x in each bracket. And here, obviously, we're going to need a plus 1 in each bracket. That will give us 8x that we need. So that's the correct factorization. And then that tells us that x is equal to minus a quarter. We need to go back and find y. And we know that y is equal to 1 minus 2x. So when x is equal to minus a quarter, y is going to be equal to 1 minus negative a half, which is 3 over 2. So that's our solution, minus a quarter, and y is 3 over 2.